counts on your fingers. <laughs> I'm trying to be entertaining. We only have four people left in this, in, the, uh, in this bracket here. We've got Sonics and Jake right now in our winner's finals, and we got Mr. E and Chad in our loser's semis. Again, we're going to get started on our winners here. Jake, who I believe is the 10 seed, taking on Sonics, the one seed of this tournament. And man, they're about to do some battle here, starting off on Town and City. Town and City is an interesting place to take Sonics to because, sure, you are going to be able to get quite far away from him and get some mining set up, but it's a double-edged sword, especially when you're playing against a character like Sonic. Very tough. Uh, yeah, and here we the go. Way that, oh! And I mean, especially with the way that Sonics has been playing today, it, it's tough is, like, probably... I don't know, <laughs> the least descriptive way to describe how he's playing tonight. This dude's an absolute beast. Look at this, 99%, 100% unanswered, almost getting the two frame. There we go, finally getting some damage on board. Jake doing something right now, 55? 55%, 75% now with that back air is nothing to sneeze at, especially against Sonic, where <laughs> defensive play is king and it's so hard to get hits in on him. So good stuff to Jake, at least getting that start. Right now, Sonic's still in absolute control. Good delay on that spin dash, but an even better avoidance from Jake. He's doing a great job of playing around it. Maybe not great enough if Sonic's manages to get this. Oh, he was going for that back air. Mm, yeah, he sure was. There, there it is. is a late hit, too. Gonna be able to take out that stock. Such a strong move. Now, in this situation, it's going to be quite tough for Sonic's to be, or sorry, for Jake to, to start to claw this back. We said it earlier, Sonic's with Elite is probably the hardest thing online to, to, to top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, he's definitely one of the most consistent players. I believe he was number four in the most recent Wi-Fi Warrior rankings, right? Uh, yes. Okay. If, if he, was, he was somewhere in the top five because Sonic's is absolutely insane. Yeah, absolutely. But he is going wow. to get caught by the Redstone Minecart there in sense of the Blast Zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, 54% for extra credit, pretty solid, especially, again, with the way that Sonic's has been playing tonight. Dude, the way Steve can combo is, like, off his minecart is just, it's not right, dude. It just feels, it feels like it just shouldn't be a thing in the game. It's so strong. Remember how we were saying how scary Sonic's was with the lead? Well, Jake has brought this, no way did that flank. <laughs> No way did that clank. It, did. it doesn't. It's not going to matter because Jake is going to take the stock there oh. with the up smash. But why does Sonic get to do that? Um, I don't know. But you know what it made me think of? Uh, with Steve dropping the anvil on Sonic's was uh, ooh, there we go. Got that back here going to be able to close out that stock, evening things up. But Steve dropping the anvil on top of Sonic's while he's spin dashing made me think of Wiley e. Coyote and the Road Runner, <laughs> <laughs> like those old me, Acme me. Corporation. Me, me. me. <laughs> It pretty much is. It's another fast yeah, no, it's, 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 a, it's a fast rodent running away from a dude with an anvil, you know? Yeah. The same thing. <laughs> We're basically watching Wile E. Coyote right now. As exactly. Sonics takes a solid lead here, builds up 63% and is still counting. Oh, he's not going to punish, actually. Not going to get a big punish on that whiff death smash like I thought he would. Mm -hmm. Okay, 108% though. This is definitely the percentage where Sonics will start. Oh my god, it's going to spin dash right through the, uh, the cart. That's actually huge. Uh, but yeah, this is about the percentage where Sonics really starts closing out these stocks. We're probably going to see a back air. Maybe a forward smash two frame. Who knows? Good up air. And he's, oh, he's going all the way up into the blast zone to try and find Jake there. Ooh. He wants that fair, but a good fair in response from Jake himself is going to knock it right back. And down he goes. No, he's still alive. Despite Town and City Blast Zone's going to hold on to that stock a little bit longer at least. Mm -hmm. I'm actually kind of surprised too. Is that oh no way! No. He had all the rage too. Oh, oh. Steve, Steve, uh, Steve isn't fair. Why yeah, did Jake that kill? Steve isn't fair, but Jake doesn't care, man. Gonna be able to take that first game. Why did that rhyme? Uh, with, a, with a huge back air uh, of his own. We've been talking about Sonic's back air all night, but Steve and Jake just look at rising to the occasion right here. And whap. Wait, no, not yet. Is it point one? Two. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Absolute wow, dude. insanity. Dude, it's Absolute. so strong. It's so strong. That, like, sure, he had full rage. He was at 154%, but still, back air should not be killing at 80. And I know for a fact, because I've never seen Sonic get caught lacking on DI. He did not get caught lacking on DI there. Uh, I mean, hey, that's, uh, that's what happens when you go to Town and City, man. You kind of take that risk of uh, dying off the sides a little bit earlier. We're going right back to Town and City. Sonic's probably not happy about the result. I'm pretty sure they're confident they can take that back. It was pretty much down to the wire. Next big hit should have really taken it. Just Jake was the one who pulled the trigger faster. Yeah, 
And that's like honestly going to be what this set really comes down to because both of these characters like can kill in sort of ridiculous situations. Mm -hmm. So when it really, really comes down to it, it's going to be who pulls that trigger first. Exactly. All right, got just gonna run up, forward tilt. You know what? That's Wait a second. Wait a second. He knocked him out of the minecart with homing attack there. Mm -hmm. So this is actually something I think is really interesting, right? So generally, um, I see a lot of people take out the bottom, uh, the bottom block when Steve's, you know, doing their mining thing. And then Steve usually tends to the minecart underneath it, like as like a bit of a punish. Um, it's interesting now is that Sonic's is is able to you know spin dash underneath it so it basically becomes a uh, spin dash versus cart and i think spin dash just clashes right like clanks right through it so that's actually really interesting and i think jake needs to be more aware of that and also aware of that back air <laughs> that back air does some uh both of these characters have some pretty nasty bears in their pockets it's gonna be sonic's is that takes the first stock here however that is what we saw last game oh. as well, and then Jake fired back with a back air of his own. It's not going to kill, though. Not yet, at least, and he is just going to air dodge. We're right into that up smash. Yeah, man. Steve's got all the tools to be able to make these crazy plays. We're going to see how Sonic can answer back after losing that stock. Keep in mind that Jake does have diamond tools now, but also has another diamond on deck in case the tools should either break or they should lose their stock pretty soon. And the way that Sonic is putting on this damage, that might be very, very soon. And right now, they are certainly... Oh, that was... I, I, I have to commend Jake how they are playing... A... Okay. Never mind. I'm not going to commend Jake. I'm going to commend Sonics for doing so much damage. Did you see him actually just, like, land right on top of Jake doing up tilts? Mm -hmm. He, like, he like barely... No fear. Yeah, he, dude, he threaded the needle and just actually... Look at, the, look at all this damage he's opened up from that one opening. Absolutely zero fear in the heart of Sonics the Hedgehog. Oh, right now he's looking for this F tilt. That's gonna take it. Ooh, he was actually he faked out like the the back air. I think that's what Jake thought was coming. And honestly, I don't blame him, man. Sonic is a fiend for these back airs and just waited it out, getting the forward tilt, close out the stock. That's just beautifully played from Sonic. Uh, absolutely in control. Desperately trying to get this game two after losing game one. And now trying to get this this go. Oh yeah, there it is. There's that that interaction that you talked about a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, with Spin Dash flanking right into good old minecart. Okay, dancing around here. Oh, okay, forward smash. Gonna put on a little bit of damage. 74. You know, if he gets a forward smash at like the edge of the stage, should absolutely close out that stock. But Sonic's is not gonna forfeit a stock that easily. You need to make sure you corner him. Oh you you almost you were almost forced to eat your words right there, Skiff. <laughs> yeah, but listen, I've never cursed anybody on commentary. <laughs> you remember Beast Mode Paul, Skiff? Dude, let's you not talk about it. You remember Beast Mode Paul. I love Beast Mode Paul. Goes okay. for that dare there, but it doesn't quite Ooh. connect. He is going to get the back air. But Sonic's oh, now we're in now we're in Ledge Trap City. Okay. He's, he's gonna get back onto the stage without too much hassle. Jake is struggling here, man. 137 has another diamond on board, but I don't even know if they'll ever get a chance to use it. How do you this stop Sonic when he's up a whole stock like this? Uh, that's a question that people have been trying to answer since the quarantine series, man. Uh, or you just wait for him to SD. That that <laughs> works too. <laughs> yeah, He's saying, I don't, I don't need this stock. It's fine. It's not a Sonic set without a Randy SD. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Imagine. Imagine. Uh -oh. Imagine. Ooh, imagine. Scary. Oh no! There's no way. There's no way Jake steals game two, right? There's no way. I, I think there is a way, but it's very unlikely. I think Sonic still has this in the bag because he's a much oh. better player than that. But, uh... Woo! So Jake is an silence. absolute no, no, no. thief. No, no, we, no, we, we, no, we had our moment of silence. silence. We had our moment of silence. Jake is an absolute thief. Thief. He comes out here day after day, stealing games, stealing stocks, no remorse whatsoever. What an absolute Look at this. dominating Look performance at this. so far. This is this is crazy, man. He, he walked right into it. 67. He died at 67. He had full every rage. single every single time it kills, it, it's somehow lower than the last one. Every <laughs> single time. Rage. I think both both times were a back air full rage off the left side. Game one and two. Sonics has got to do a better job of not letting Jake get these comebacks, man. He had a huge lead. Huge lead. And he threw it all away. Actually, he didn't throw it away. He didn't throw it away. Jake or Jake ripped it away. It. He stole it, man. <laughs> Looking like the Phantom Thieves out here. Ah, this isn't Joker. <laughs>
<laughs> to make it demands of Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to push into game three now, running it back yet again to town and city. Oh, man. But I, 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 I'm still in shock. I think I need like a. I, I, I'm amazed that Sonic's ran it back this quick. I would have needed a breather. Hey, listen. Uh, color counter pick. There, there's one player who I see make a color counter pick, and it usually works out. Sonic tends, tends to be that character. Uh, we're gonna see if he's able to make it happen though. Right now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if his mentality is a, a, you know, taking a hit because I mean, why not? That's two games in a row where you had a pretty solid lead, and Jake just with one diamond pickaxe back here is able to just take it all away from him. Speaking of taking it all away, he's taking the lead right now. He's looking to come in with this minecart. That's like really, that's that's something that I just, oh good. God, Sonic is going to take that stock there with the fair, but something that I've noticed just now, their side Bs are very similar. Uh, both of them are kind of unreactable burst options that can cross up shield or just murder you if you get hit by them in certain situations. Yeah, it, it, it can tend to be very similar. I mean, there, there is some obvious differences, but like, yeah, they're, they're generally pretty similar. I mean, it opens up to a lot of other options too, like back air or forward air, maybe even up air sometimes. And uh, it's just a matter of just converting off them. Right now, uh, Sonic's looking pretty good. Um, getting a little bit of damage here. He does have to be careful not to get too greedy because greed has lost him the past two games. I don't even know if I would call it greed entirely. Sonic's is usually very careful in last stock situations. It's really just down to getting robbed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just get robbed, man. All right, there we go. Going to get a little bit of spin dash damage there. Man, Sonic's absolutely tearing it up on this second stock. Ooh, 115. Not going to kill. Is he going to go out for it? No, he's trying to get the two frame, but the forward tilt will put him right back out there. Yes. That's the option. Looks for the back air, and Jake is on the verge of losing this second stock. Sonic's, I think he's mad, Skiff. Uh, he might be. I think he's, uh, I he's, he's upset that he's down 2-0 to Jake's Steve right now here in Winner's Finals. He's going, give me back those games that you took from me. I'm going to take them right here and right now. As he goes for that F-Tilt, it's not going to kill quite yet, but he's going very deep off stage, oh. looking for the fair to punish. Yeah, actually, it probably would have closed it out. Probably should have gone for the spring just to, you know, kind of reset himself on stage, push Jake back off stage just a little bit more, make him use his resources again and again and again. But you know what? Oh! Hit Spin Dash about to kill off the top. <laughs> the day that Spin Dash kills is the day I weep. Uh, and it has happened in the past, and I have wept in the past. We might see it again here tonight. Ooh, unless Jake gets a kill with a dash attack. Yeah, Sonic's holding on to the stock very well, man. Jake's got to be careful because, um, I mean, Sonic's really no stranger to timeouts, right? And he's sitting very pretty right now. I don't know if Jake has the, the burst option to be able to do 181% if Sonic just doesn't want to let him, you know? <laughs> That's the second stock. He's got to do a whole lot more than 181% now because Sonic has taken a two-stock lead here. Ow. Oh! Oh! Dude, dunked him, like, so hard. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh Dude, there's, Skip, there's, it's not, no, Skip, it's not gonna happen. Me, I'm scared. Skip, no, 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 me. it's not gonna happen. We're not seeing this again, right? There's no way. There's no way Jake makes a comeback like this. He goes for the he goes for the TNT on ledge to try and take him down, but it's not gonna work out quite yet. He gets Sonic's in the minecart, goes for the fair. Sonic's just air dodged off stage. Okay, Jake's not gonna be able to punish it though. Yeah, as you can tell, Sonic's I think might be getting a little bit nervous. That 76%, uh, honestly, would probably put a, a dent in anyone's mentality. He wants to kill him now. Sonics wants this over with, but will that that eagerness be his downfall? We said it, he got a little bit greedy last last game, and I'm inclined to believe he'll probably be even more greedy now that he has the two-stock lead. He has the ability to kind of be overconfident. He goes for the F smash, but he's gonna get grabbed as a punishment. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Let's see what the option is. He's trying to find a way to close out the stock. Jake is working hard, but Sonics doesn't want to allow it to happen. That's gonna be okay. it. Thank okay, okay. Ooh. The curse shall not come to pass. We live to see another day. And Sonics at least gets himself on the board. How does someone set. like sit at two stocks, right? For the last 10 seconds of that game, Sonic was at two stocks and still felt like he was losing. How? A good question, um, and I think the answer to this is the first two games that both of us watched together here in this Discord call. <laughs> you know, probably a very good point. But hey, you know what? Good stuff to Sonic's finally getting on the board, finally getting the game win that they deserve. 
not allowing it to be robbed for them this time around. But who knows? Maybe we'll be going right back to Town and City. I think Town and City seems to be a pretty good, like, neutral stage for the two of them. Um, actually, we're going to be going to Final Destination. Interesting. I do not know he about is... allowing Final Destination uh, against Sonics. Yeah, FD is a, a questionable choice for Jake to take him to here, but he's, he must have some some confidence. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where the confidence stems from, is the ability to put up those walls. Absolutely stuff out Sonic's approaches. Mm -hmm. And not just that, but also just, um, you know, just trying to give Sonic's like less platforms, I guess, to move around. Maybe he's got a little sick of town and city and, uh, you know, what was happening there. But man, like... For the whoop. Ooh, okay. Oh, big Ford. Dude, that Ford air is so meaty, man. Just sets him up. Like, even if you hit him, like, just a, a little bit off the like, off the stage, it just sets him up for another hit. Like, it's just a continuous combo. It's just insane. Ooh. Now, Sonics is looking to connect with that back air. He's actually going to set up for another one with that landing there, but it's not going to quite do what he wanted to yet. Jake's still holding onto this stock, still holding onto this lead, but it gets taken away from him now. Let's see if Sonic can take away the other half of what wow. I just mentioned. Dude, Jake started off pretty hot here, and then all of a sudden, man, Sonic's has... Okay, I think that's the first hit Sonic's took in the past, like, 30 seconds or so. Just, he just put on, like, 100-something percent damage. Gonna die to that back air once again, man. That diamond pickaxe, way too strong. And now, Skiff... Jake has taken the lead here in game four, and he is not looking likely to give it up anytime soon. He gets the F smash on Sonics. That's 49% extra credit already. He honestly doesn't even look all that close to dropping the stock just yet. Down comes the Ooh. anvil, but Sonics just barely escapes with his cranium intact. Mm -hmm. That is for sure. Uh, okay, there we go. Finally going to be able to take the stock. 49% difference is not a problem. Uh, you know... Sonic should be okay here. Should be able to find a couple combos to, to try to even things up. But Jake, man, not going to relinquish this lead that easily. Sonic has to work super hard for this. He is Ooh, okay. going to be getting that up throw, but no follow-up out of it. And Minecart's just going to come in. Oh. Let's get Jake back onto the ground. I do question him going immediately back to mining, though, the second he touched back down on the ground. That was uh, a little bit on... Uh, okay, good grab there. Yeah, I do want to point out uh, Sonics is very good at landing like up air one and converting it right into an up tilt. Oh, but no Jake way. is really good at converting right to that diamond pickaxe back air, taking that second stock. Oh, man, they're they're sitting pretty right now. Sonics, again, has to work very hard. You know how we were talking about Final Destination might not be the play for Jake? We clearly don't know what we're talking yeah. about. <laughs> um, cast bias casters uh, get these guys off the desk. They talk way too much for commentators. Ooh, Sonic's wait, though going to get the spring into the back air. He's looking to at least try and even up the stocks. Oh, I thought an F smash was coming out. I thought an F smash was in his future. <laughs> an F smash is in his future. He's going to get caught by that right then and there, but he's still just barely holding on to his stock at 104%. This extra credit is getting kind of nasty. Still living through it. Yeah, you see the future. That's so Ryan, huh? There don't, we go. Gonna be able to find a way. Gonna find a way to take that stock there. 107. percent Now listen, we've seen Jake steal a couple games here. Could we see Sonics steal a game right back to force a game five situation? Could we? Yes. I feel like it's we in the cards. Might. It. There's a lot of cards in a deck, Skiff. Mm -hmm. 52 uh, to be, to and be exact. <laughs> 54 with the Joker, but I don't know where this tangent is going because Jake <laughs> has a back air on board and ready to throw right into Sonic's face. This is so scary. Yes, this should so scary. That's the thing is you have to respect Steve in these types of situations because of that back air. You can't be drifting in. You can't be doing random stuff. Okay, could be the opening he needs. Oh, oh wow. Okay, let him run on top car. of there. He's looking for this bear. He oh! gets the dare! That's gonna be it! Jake goes into grand finals! Listen, like Wiley Coyote finally landing the anvil to take this Roadrunner out of business, man. Oh my god, Jake <laughs> looking like an absolute fiend. I, I can't believe they uh they made this all work. Look at this. Look, look how look how pinpoint accurate this needed to be. Like you have to put it right there. Look at that. Bam! Right on top of him, crushing that hedgehog's head and <laughs> just sending him to the blast zone. Woo! Oh. That was a fun I'm set. headed to the I I'm I'm he I need to head to the doctor's office. I'm I'm feeling ill, Skiff, after that <laughs> after that set. Oh my goodness. What a uh, play from Jake to close that out. Now 
goes to Grand Finals. This is the first time in quite a while that anyone's been able to to oh, to man. put Sonics down quite that hard. Like a 3-1 loss. Don't see that too often. Yeah, you don't you don't see it too often, but Jake definitely has been getting better and better. You and I know Jake. We've known Jake for a while. He used to go by JTJ. Very, very Mario good. Wi-Fi Mario. Steve. Yep. Was playing Bowser for a little bit too. And ever since they've pulled out this Jake has just been getting better all the time, week in, week out. And honestly, being able to go to Grands over Sonic's number four on the Wi-Fi Warrior ranking definitely shows that your game has been evolving. So great stuff to Jake. I think, honestly, Skiff, hear me out. What if it's not Steve? What if it's the name 